Hello and welcome back. Let's talk about unions in C in this video. So what are unions? Unions are user-defined data types where multiple members share the same memory location. This is one critical difference compared to structures and they are defined using the keyword union. The syntax, we write union and the union name, for example, students or data or whatever the name we want to give for the union and then an opening brace and then we define the members 1, 2, 5, 10, how many ever we want and then we close it. An example for this would be we write union data int i float f char str of size 10 and now in the main function we can check the size of this uh, union. To, to do that we have to first declare a variable for this particular data type so we write union data and the variable name is data now when we print the memory of this we should ideally see 10 because all these three members i f and str they share the same memory location and that is the highest of all this will determine the size of this entire union but when we run this program we will see 12 not 10 and I'll discuss why that happens. So let's say this is the union. We have int i 4 bytes, float f 4 bytes and char str 10 bytes. So int i and float f will share the same memory location and that will also be shared by char str. So let's say this is the first element of str, str 0 and so on up to str 9. So depending on the endianness of the system. I have linked an article to understand about Indianness of the system, but let's assume this system stores values in this order. So str0, 1, 2 and 3, whatever value we assign to these 4 bytes here, that values will also get assigned to int i and float f. So let's say we have str0 equals to 0x12, so I am using hexadecimal notation here. You can also read about the different types of number systems. I have the link in the description as well as a card should appear up here which you can click for the video. Now str1 0x34, str2 0x56, str3 0x78. So if we assign these values, it will also mean that i equals to 0x1234567 and f equals to 0x1234567. Now how is it different from structures? You see here, these four variables are shared by i, f and str, but in structure, they are stored next to each other. So they have their own unique memory locations. They don't share the values. So if you write a value to f, it will only be for f. You can't access that value in i, whereas in union, the values can be accessed by each other. See here, in unions, the memory locations are shared and the total size of this union will be 10 bytes. However, for the structure, the variable memories are not shared and the total size will be 18 bytes. Now, there is something that I need to mention here. That is, if we run this program, we should ideally see 10 bytes in the output. That the size is 10 bytes, but we will see 12. Why is that? That has to do with something called padding. Memory allocation is done in such a way that it will always be aligned to 4 bytes. So if we have 10 bytes, there will be 2 bytes of padding to align it with 12. If we have 15, there will be a padding of 1 byte to align it with 16 and so on. So we need to be careful when we are designing systems with uh, unions and structures because of this padding. There is a wastage of memory. There are ways to combat this but I will not discuss this in this video. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon.